Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in. Today, we're going to be going over some bass and kick EQ techniques so that we can clearly hear the bass and clearly hear the kick. Alright guys, so let's get on with it. Uh, right now, the bass and the kick, so my bass line and my kick drum are definitely clashing. Uh, let me solo that for you. You can hear a bit of rumble, it sounds like distortion in our, to our ears, but it's really not. It's just a clash of uh, phase issues with the bass and kick. Right? So you can't really hear the bottom end of my kick drum anymore. And uh, right, so let's let's try and do this. So what you're gonna need for this one is Blue Cat's uh, Blue Cat Audio's uh, EQ Line E5. We're gonna insert that on the kick drum. Right there we go, and we're going to need on the kick drum itself. We're going to need the Blue Cat uh, Dynamic uh, Modeler. All right, bam. Then you have both of them. Okay. All right. So um, what we want to do is every time the kick hits, we want to drop. Oops, sorry, wrong one. We want to drop the frequency here like that every time the kick hits. All right, and we're going to up this up a bit, but first we have to set this together. All right. So we're going to go to Menu. We're going to go to global settings here, control input. We're going to select which frequency we want to, you know, uh, mess around with. All right. Uh, we're going to pick 120. Cool. We're going to go two and two just because two and two is easier to remember or any, any, it could be any number, right? So get that going there. Now we go to our kick drum channel here. We're going to do the same thing. Go to menu, global settings. MIDI output, 2-2, two, two, hit it, 2-2, two, two, hit it. Now just remember that if you have more more than one VST, uh, right? I have three of them at the moment. So just remember this number, Blue Cat Dynamic 3. And then this one is, I think, 1-2. It's the third one also, all right? So that's pretty easy to remember. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is... If you're in Pro Tools, it's Control Shift N. It brings up a new track. You're gonna go down, Control down, and hit MIDI track and hit Enter. You just need one. If you're in FL, Cubase, or whatever, just bring up a new track the same way. And uh, well, FL is actually a little bit different, but you want to set the input and the output so that they connect each other. The output of this compressor into this EQ. So we're going to go here to input, oh sorry, yes, the output of Dynamics 3, I hit was channel 2, that's cool, go into the input of EQ3, channel 2, and uh, we have to hit the arm button to get this one going in Pro Tools, okay? So let's go mess around with this. What we want to do is 0%. And we want to take out the auto gain. Cool. So I'm going to change my release. So, well, my envelope detection so that there's a lot of emotion. If I leave it up, it doesn't really do much. Right? So I'm going to leave it down really quickly. Nice. Then I'm going to pick up around there. Just bring it down a bit. Let's just see what that does, okay? Take a look at my EQ. Oh. So there should be no bass clash in here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's see if maybe we can do a little bit less drastic there. Maybe something like that. Let's check a look. All right. No, we need it to actually really go all the way down. Okay, that's cool. No problem. Whoopsies. We're going to go back to here and bring it down again perfect now let's bring this up all the way here so we can get a nice tone start from the beginning a little bit of distortion happening because this is definitely going uh, out too much so what we can do is bring down the gain 
So we're back in the green. Maybe bring this up too. Yeah, actually that sounds really good. All right, rewind that a bit. Okay, so there you go. This is one little trick to make sure that your kick and your bass line are very clean and clear. Okay, so let's put everything back in the mix. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Let's do an A-B comparison here. Okay, we have it like that. Let's rewind and turn it off. So there is a bit of rumble in the jungle. So definitely arming this track and making sure that I have a pocket happening every time my kick hits will deliver a clean and clear mix with my bass and kick. All right, guys, I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV. Hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.